Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Summer Nicole. So, hey, <laughs> today we are doing another try it or trash it, okay? Y'all ran the views up on the last try it or trash it. If you haven't seen it yet, I reviewed um, Monday hair care um, shampoo and conditioner line. So if you want to see my opinion, my thoughts about that, go check that video out. Um, but yeah, today we're talking about Fenty Beauty Eavesdrop Blurring Skin Tint, okay? That's a long name. Let's just call it skin tint, Fenty skin tint, okay? That's what we're talking about today. I know I'm kind of late to the game. Like when it first came out, everybody was getting PR, like it was all over YouTube, but that's cool and all, you know. I'm gonna give y'all my real and honest and true opinion about it, okay? So if you wanna know what I have to say about this, make sure you stay tuned, but also <laughs> subscribe to my channel like this video and leave a comment and yeah let's get to talking about it let's go okay so let's just jump right into it this is the fenty skin tint i really really like the packaging it's really nice compact um you can it's travel friendly you can throw this in your purse throw it in your um carry-on whatever easy it's like the size of like a little hand lotion so i really like that another thing that i like is the little applicator part so yeah you just like <laughs> i don't want to spill it on myself but you just you know put it on your skin like that so I really like that overall I give the packaging a 10 I I just love it like it's really cute it's really aesthetic we love aesthetic right mm -hmm. okay <laughs> so this skin tint was $28 I want to say I think it was $28 the price will be on the screen um in which I don't think that is a bad price for a foundation tinted moisturizer whatever because um you know that foundations and stuff can go up to 50 60 70 dollars you know and honestly i'm not a big foundation girl which leads me to why i got this because it's supposed to be super lightweight um i've heard a lot of people say like a tinted moisturizer i wouldn't call it a tinted moisturizer but you know do what you will um but yeah i would just consider it like a very light lightweight concealer i mean not concealer foundation um so i picked up mine in the shade 12. i did the um like foundation match on sephora's website with another foundation that i had it told me that i was a, i was an 11 in this but honestly i already knew that 11 was too light it looked too light online luckily i went into the store they had 12 because y'all know they've been sold out in everybody's colors okay but they had a 12 in there i tried the 12 it was perfect okay perfect so if you're thinking about trying this definitely i would say like go up a shade than what the website tells you or you know maybe just in general go up a shade um yeah so i got a shade 12. all right so let's just get down to the nitty gritty okay so i'm wearing it right now wearing it right now and i like it i like it okay so it is very lightweight like they say it's very lightweight and I really like that about it because it's summertime. I live in Houston, like, girl, it's 80 degrees outside already, it's 85 degrees, so I need lightweight, okay? And like I said, I'm not a big foundation girl, but I notice, like, I you need a base with your makeup sometimes, right? Like, when you wanna do, like, a face face, you need a base, and this is a good base lightweight it's light to medium coverage so it is buildable um the 
I read that you can um, do it with like put it on with your fingers like your hands you know like a moisturizer or with the brush I did neither <laughs> um, I used my sponge for it I'm not a big brush girl with foundation because it makes it like even more full coverage and I'm not big on like full coverage foundation um, so yeah, I used my uh, my sponge and it worked fine. It gave me enough coverage, a good enough like base to work with and put my other makeup on top and just really bring the look together. And I really like that. It's just really lightweight, easy breezy. I wore this um, last Sunday. I had it on all day Sunday, y'all and my makeup still looked good at the end of the night like it was a long sunday okay but my makeup still looked good at the end of the night when i got home and yeah it just lasts all day it's nice lightweight um i was watching tiara walker's video and she was saying that they said it's supposed to be non-transferable nah nah it's transferable okay so don't believe the hype on that i definitely had makeup on my shirt before i even left the house y'all know how that goes <laughs> but yeah i mean overall i would say try it like i really 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 like this like i said i don't think it is a tinted moisturizer because it's not it's not very moisturizing so girl don't let that fool you put your put your moisturizer on before you put this on but i don't know like it just doesn't give me moisturizer vibes but what i will say is when you put it on it it has your skin looking very very skin like okay so if you want something easy you know just really quick throw the throw on you know just kind of pull yourself together a little bit this is it this is a great foundation to bring if you're going on vacation you know somewhere hot tropical or whatever and you know when you're on those vacations you don't really wear foundation like during the day and stuff but you might want to put makeup on at night so this is a great 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 option to bring because it's very lightweight and i just it's so perfect y'all so if you have the chance when it comes back in stock grab it try it out i 100 percent say try it out um yeah i love it if you're not a big foundation girl like me i think you will definitely like it so yeah i mean there's not too much more to say about it like i'm not gonna keep rambling about it but my opinion on this is try it <laughs> give it a try okay give it a try all right y'all that's a wrap on this video um i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below what you think about the fenty skin tint if you have tried it or let me know if you're one of those people that haven't been able to get your hands on it because girl it's sold out like yeah so comment down below let me know hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one don't forget to comment like and subscribe It's not a game, it's a red